nerds, hi Yogi, Carleen Rose here, and welcome to your Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. And today we are doing a flexibility flow for neck and shoulders, helping open up our chest and relieving any tension that we can get from sitting at our desk, being on our phones, being on computers, anything like that. So just come to a comfortable, easy seat. I'm hanging out, sitting on my shins and feet. Uh, if that doesn't feel good for you, you can just be seated on the floor, whatever is comfortable, and start to use the Mula Bandha breath. We're just doing some stretching so we don't need to worry about our breath too much, but it is good to give that little bit of extra oomph while we're doing our stretches, activate our deep core line while we're moving. So inhaling, breathing in a 360 direction, filling your pelvic floor and pelvic bowl fill with air, and exhale, squeeze all of that air in and out. Make sure you exhale all of the old air out to create space to fill up again with fresh new oxygen. And since this is building flexibility for neck and shoulders, we'll start right away just doing some gentle stretching for the neck, so dropping your ear towards one shoulder. You can even play around with turning your chin towards that shoulder if that feels better, a little bit different stretch. And gently rolling the neck forward, coming back to center and going to the other side. You may notice your flexibility is different on each side depending if you have some stiffness in your neck even happen from sleeping depending on our pillow. Again play around with uh, looking at the floor. You can even look towards the wall. Just finding that stretch back to center. And if you're um, on your feet you can also play around with tucking your toes under and sitting more on your heels. Uh, you get to stretch your feet that way. That can feel good too. We can go back and forth stretching our feet. Um, it all travels up through our whole body. It's all connected. So getting some stretch there can also help loosen up tension that maybe builds over time all the way up to our neck. So again, finding that comfortable seat. Now we're just going to reach our arms out wide. You know, reaching your fingertips long. So not a huge stretch, but already starting to open the chest and shoulders by reaching your fingertips and engaging your arms. And then from here we'll do kind of an archer bow and arrow move. So bring your right arm to meet your left and then pull it back like you're stringing or you're getting ready to release a bow. And back to center. Now left arm swoops around to meet right. Pull your bow and back to center. And you can look towards the side where your hands are getting movement in the neck should help add an extra stretch. Sometimes tension that we collect in our neck and shoulders comes from just being stagnant. So it's good to get movement, get the energy flowing, and then stretch out any tension or energy blocks we might have. One more on each side. Very nice. Fingertips reach to the floor now. Again, reaching with your fingertips creates that extra little bit of stretch. And we'll try the next stretch again. So dropping one ear to one shoulder. This time while we're reaching our fingertips to the mat. Notice that that adds a little bit deeper stretch. You can play around with maybe you want to look up a little, maybe you want to look down or to the side, finding any areas of tension that you have and releasing those, coming back to center and other side, and finding your stretch for your neck. Here, arms are going to reach open again, extending through your fingertips. Do a little bit different move this time. So this time, 
reach your right arm overhead, start to lean just a bit, stretching your right side body. And left, we're gonna lean into our intercostals. Those muscles do, I mean, everything's attached in our body. So stretching out our side body does help open and release any tension that we might have in our shoulders. And keep that stretch going from side to side. Now from here, bring your hands to center like a uh, ballerina arms. Lift up. This will help us reset our shoulders down our backs. A lot of times we start crushing our necks and we want to set, reset them. And extend. Bring them forward. Reach up. Feel the stretch in your shoulders. You're really lifting up with your shoulders to help again get that added stretch. And last one here. Holding it for a moment, breathing into the stretch, just releasing that back to the mat. Very nice. Now from here, let's come onto our hands and knees. Start getting a deeper into our shoulders. So inhale, we'll arch our spine. Exhale, round it out. Doing some cat-cow motion. Getting some movement and health in our spine, which of course, our neck is part of our spine, so it's important to keep our spine happy and healthy, and movement will help with that. Last one, and then come back to center. From here, you're gonna reach your right arm to the sky, exhale, thread it, underneath your left shoulder and just gently rest the right arm onto the mat. Shoulder um, should be stacked. Well, shoulders, I should say, should be stacked. You're pressing open with the left hand, twisting into the shoulder. Breathing into that twist and stretch. holding each posture for a couple of breaths, really to open up the muscles we're stretching. Come back to center. Now inhale, left arm to the sky this time, and exhale, thread it underneath the right arm. Roll your shoulders down your back. You do wanna create space for this stretch, and then press gently away from the mat with your right hand twisting into the shoulder stretch. And try and keep your hips parallel. You don't want to start sinking to one side. You want to lift your hips up so that you maintain the healthy alignment and get a good stretch that way as well. One more inhale and exhale here. And press yourself back up to center. Do that cat-cow motion again. And now we're taking it all the way down to the mat on our bellies. So bring yourself to the floor. We'll take kind of the opposite of the thread the needle stretch we just did to get into our chest. So take your right hand, your right arm, reach it out perpendicular to you so you have a nice T-shape with the right side of your body. And from here, gently start to roll onto your right side, opening up the shoulder. And you can stay here and you can balance yourself with your left palm. And like we did before, press into the stretch. You're just pressing away from the mat gently to help open up the shoulder on the front of the shoulder this time. You can stay here if that stretch feels good enough for you, or you can step your left foot, the top foot, behind you and let your knee start to fall open, deepening the stretch in your right shoulder. 
but just come to that first edge of stretch. You don't want to overdo it. And holding each stretch for a couple of breaths. Making your way back to center, back onto your belly. We'll switch sides in just a moment. But for here, why don't you just lift up into a low cobra, working some strength into it. You can even lift up your hands, lift up your feet, and exhale back to the mat. Now this time, left arm reaches out long, perpendicular. Um, to your body and gently start rolling onto your left side this time, opening up your left shoulder. Again, right hand is gently pressing into the mat to create stability for the stretch and open the shoulder stretches. And from here, again, you can step your top foot, your right foot behind you, behind your leg. Let the knee fall open, deepening the stretch in the shoulder, if that feels good to you. It may be different on each side, again, depending on what tension you might have. your way back to center, back onto your belly. We'll try that cobra lift again. So just inhaling lifts your chest off the mat. If you're feeling stable there, you can lift your hands off the mat as well as your feet. Building some strength while we're stretching. And exhale. Press into the mat, roll yourself in and up, and then exhale, coming back into a child's pose. And we'll take kind of the combination of the two stretches we just did in our child's pose. So you can keep your knees together or open them wide, whatever's gonna feel best for you. And from here, we're gonna do the thread the needle again in our child's pose. So right shoulder is going to come onto the mat. Notice we're thinking a little bit deeper into the shoulder. And you can rest your palm in front of you and gently twist away again if that feels good. Or if you want to combine the chest stretch, your left arm will reach up to the sky, rotate your palm behind you, and wrap around your back for a half bind. So with this, we're twisting into our shoulder and opening our left shoulder all at the same time. Last breath here. Gently release your left arm. Come back to center and we'll switch sides. So now left arm, you're going to thread under your right. Again, you can stay planted here or right arm can lift. Palm rotates behind you and wraps around for a half bind. You can catch your leg if that is available to you today. Remembering to try and keep your hips center so you're not sitting too far on one side. We want to, of course, keep alignment when we're doing these stretches. here. Gently releasing that. Coming back up to 
sit, take cactus or goddess arms, look up to the sky, mini back bend, really open up the front of your chest, and exhale, reaching forward, on the arch in your shoulders, stretching out the backs of your shoulders here, to open again. up to the ceiling, stretch in the front of your body, and exhale, fingertips reach long, and you can stretch out your neck from side to side, notice if there's more openness, or even new areas of tension after you've stretched out some of the other ones, work out anything else that you find. You can even do some of these stretches, you know, at your desk, on the couch. Just stretch out your neck, stretch out your arms throughout the day. Try and keep any of that tension and stagnant energy from building up, or lack of energy, I should say. And then from here, making your way onto the mat, coming to a comfortable position with your feet firmly planted into the earth, knees are in the air. We're going to do a restorative bridge pose, so grounding your feet into the mat, lift your hips, and start lifting one vertebrae at a time, coming into a bridge pose with your arms reaching overhead, and exhale, everything folds back to the mat. It's like a little mini massage here for your shoulders. Last one. And exhale. Just extending your feet out long, coming into a resting pose. You can take a moment to just massage. Give yourself a quick little massage in the neck, shoulders. You can massage down your arms and fore forearms and rotate your wrist around you. Pull your wrist away from your arm to create some traction. May not be the same as a professional massage, but you can at least give yourself a little bit of leaven. Then from here, resting into the mat for a moment, you can have your arms reaching. Again, just a slight energetic reach from your fingertips to create more space in the shoulders. You can reach your arms out if that feels good. Do up like a star, starfish pose, or even do goddess cactus arms here if that feels good. Finding a comfortable position to rest in. That openness in your shoulders that you just created. Take a moment to let your body kind of settle into that openness before going back into the rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed that flexibility flow and that you're feeling more flexible in your shoulders, neck, chest. I hope we opened up all of that. Uh, again, feel free to use any of those stretches anytime you're feeling some tension in those areas, um, whether you're at your desk, you know, sitting on the couch, anything like that, just to help keep those areas from feeling constricted and tight and building tension, keeping it open and stretched and hopefully preventing any new tension from coming in. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Really look forward to seeing you on the mat again soon. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. You get notifications for the new videos when they get uploaded and get on the League of Nerdy Yogi's email list. Exclusive content is waiting for you there. Namaste.